Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4. This is an amazing update. The best update hands down that we got for iOS 15 until now and probably the last big update to iOS 15 with amazing big new features. And we have some more features to talk about on this video which are really, really useful. And of course you will love and you will most likely use on daily basis on your iPhone once you get this update installed on your device now before we get into all that and we talk about the new features the performance and everything else that you need to know regarding this update make sure to leave a like on this video because it really really helps out a lot it will help the video and the channel do much much better and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already First off, let's talk about the latest iOS 15.4 update that we got. Yesterday, Apple just released the fifth beta of iOS 15.4. I didn't even thought that Apple will go with a fifth beta because the last beta had a build number ending with an A, with in, which indicates that that's the last beta, of course, before the RC version, but they released another beta with a different build number, but it also ends with an A. And this is most likely the last beta that you will see for iOS 15.4. Now this beta will come at around 400 to 500 megabytes, that of course always depending on which device you have and of course which software you have currently installed on your device. We're going to talk about the release later on but first of all let's talk about some of the new features that you will see on iOS 15.4 beta 5. Now first of all there is a new splash screen when you open the notes app for the first time and this is what you will see basically telling you that you can get notifications for notes that are shared with you so get notified when other mentions you or, or make changes on your shared notes and of course you can go ahead and enable those notifications from here now i believe this will show up only to people that have these notifications disabled so if you have the notifications disabled for shared notes you will get the splash screen when you go into the notes app now something really good when i updated to beta beta 5 from beta 4 i got this pop-up again so basically this is now official you will be able to actually update your device through cellular data from now on this is not a bug not a test it has shown up three times since now and of course it did show up right now when updating from beta 4 to beta 5 so that's really really amazing a lot of people have been asking for this feature and there we have it now you will be able to just completely update through cellular or start with wi-fi and of course continue with cellular data Something new that you will see on iOS 15.4 beta 5 when you go to your settings and you go to the general section you go to about you will have your coverage here of course. Now what you will see here is a new card for the Apple support app basically letting you know that you can go ahead and schedule like a visit to the Apple store and stuff like that and of course you can go ahead and do that by just getting the Apple support app which now shows up here and of course you can choose to install it by just tapping here. Now this is new as well but this has been added to iOS 15.4 beta 4 not beta 5 tracking notifications with a new glyph right there so these are basically notifications for tracking for the find my app and of course if you go here you will have the usual settings that you get on notifications so what you will have here is of course the enable and disable button right there you have immediate delivery or scheduled and of course you can go ahead and choose right here the lock screen appearance and everything else just like you do normally with all the all other notifications on the apps on your ios 15 device another thing that has been added to ios 15.4 with beta 4 is a new like icon right there for the roku streaming stick so if you have that you will see now an icon right there another thing if you go to the magnifier app so let's just go here real quick you will notice that the spacing right here has changed so the spacing between all the different buttons on the magnifier app has now changed and in my opinion it looks much much cleaner and now let's talk about a really really big feature that is not yet here but it will probably be in a matter of days maybe even weeks but it's in the code of iOS 15.4 and it is really really great the ability to enable a custom dark mode for Safari now the way it will work you go to Safari in this case I have dark mode turned on you can see it right here and of course it will turn on dark mode within the Safari web pages as well if I go to control center, turn it off, you can see it turns it off right there. But 
According to the code found on iOS 15.4, you will now be able to set dark modes based on websites. So on websites, you have different settings for different websites. You can do that by going right here to the AA button and you will have website settings. Now from here, of course, you can enable desktop website, use reader automatically, or you can of course allow cameras, microphones and locations from here. And on iOS 15.4, according to the code, it's not here yet, you will be able to actually also enable or disable dark mode. So if I enable dark mode for this website all the time, it doesn't matter in which mode my device is. It can be on the light mode, the website will always load on the dark mode. That's a really, really great feature. The ability to set custom dark modes or light modes based on the website. And of course, how you like it more, you can do that from now on, hopefully with iOS 15.4, hopefully this will come on the release of iOS 15.4 because it's right there, is on the code, but if they don't release it right now, probably they will release with a minor update like iOS 15.4.1 or something like that. But it's right there and it's actually really, really good. And now let's talk about the performance of iOS 15.4. That looks to be really good as well. It is improving with every beta and now we're on beta 5, which is actually the last beta of iOS 15.4. So right here on Geekbench, we can see if we go to the CPU scores, we have right here beta 4, we have beta 5 at the top and we can see right there a small increase. So we had 1592, we have 1594. We had right here on the multi-core score 4227, we have 4232 so that's just a slight improve but of course it's always good to see that ios 15.4 is improving on performance as well even though it didn't have any major issues whatsoever even from beta 1 battery as well is about the same as it used to be from the beginning in my case in my experience using ios 15.4 since day one it got released on beta one i had probably about the same like battery life that i got on my device here on the iphone 12 pro max again it's not the best ever it's not the worst it is actually quite good and of course i don't see any problems with people installing this update on their device when it comes to performance and battery life and last but not least, let's talk about the release date of iOS 15.4. So I really expected Apple to actually release the RC version this week. They didn't. They actually went ahead and released Beta 5, of course, with basically a different build number. Again, ending with an A, which indicates that it's la the last beta. But hopefully we will see the RC version getting released next week now apple is set to hold an event on march 8th they didn't send out the invites yet but hopefully that will happen today so if that happens of course you can expect the rc version to be released on that date so march 8th should be the date when we get the rc version of ios 15.4 that is of course the release candidate of ios 15.4 and if that happens on march 8th i believe apple should release ios 15.4 on march 14th that should be the date that we will get ios 15.4 released to the public and of course every one of you guys will be able to actually install this update and enjoy all these amazing features Hopefully that Safari feature with the dark mode will also come with this update, even though I believe they might actually push it a bit and release it with a point update, which should also happen in the near future. So that's basically it for this video, guys. You can expect iOS 15.4 RC version on March 8th, then the final release on March 14th. So again, thank you guys for watching the video. That is it for this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.